long has your family been in the business of uh, of reason? The business of reason, mm. I can't tell you, but mm. the business of making uh, mm. alcoholic beverages from uh, wine grapes, mm. okay. i.e., wine, 1600. Mm. We found out uh, a year before last that instead of 1661, we missed a couple of generations, and it's 1600. Wow. My father was a special person and happened to be my best friend. So you stick with the things that your best friends like and what, what they do. And uh, he very early uh, created or ignited, you could say, the flame. He was a true son of the Mosul. He was deeply rooted in the viticulture. He was uh, rooted in tradition but at the same time uh, innovative so he was combining the good from the past and always looking for something new um, to improve and uh, to taste and to you know move ahead in the direction of quality also um, he was one along with my mother who uh, taught us to be open to try new things to travel the world and to bring home the best memories and experiences and uh, that created a unique environment in which it was easy to come to like the family wine business mm -hmm. although I didn't tell anybody I liked it until I was uh, out of school and away from home uh, I already made up my mind at the age of 16 I still remember the day in a vineyard actually a beautiful summer morning with my father and I thought wow this is cool the cycle of the seasons from the dead wood to the bud swelling to the first green mm. the whole cycle of the four seasons and it doesn't end with the fruit being picked but then a new cycle starts and you create something out of the fruit that's different from wheat or soybeans uh, the grapes actually uh, you can drink the juice but you can ferment it into something delicious that smells good tastes good and makes you feel good and this is something I found really cool even as a teenager but as a teenager you don't immediately follow your parents lead and so I kept that to myself and I had many other plans officially and maybe unofficially too but in the end uh, my mind was set on, on going into the wine business. <laughs>